In this video, I'm going to look at how to write balanced equations when you're given the masses of reactants and products. Now, essentially, what a balanced chemical equation is telling us is the mole ratio between the chemicals involved. So we're going to have to turn those masses into moles. And so we're going to use the mass, moles, MR formula triangle. And just remember that mass must be in grams. So beware the masses that are given in units other than grams, such as kilograms. So we'll start with this question. Potassium nitrate, KNO3, decomposed on heating to give potassium nitrite, KNO2 and oxygen O2. So we're told that when 4.04 grams of potassium nitrate is heated, 3.40 grams of potassium nitrite is produced. We have to use that information to construct the balanced equation for the reaction. You'll notice there on the left hand side, I've got the mass moles MR triangle and I've got the relative atomic masses for potassium, nitrogen and oxygen that we're going to calculate the MRs from. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm writing down the unbalanced equation from the information we're given. You can see I've colour coded the three different chemicals just so hopefully the the working out makes a bit more sense as I go through it. First thing I'm going to do is write down the masses of all the chemicals involved. So we're told about potassium nitrate and nitrite, that's the blue and the red. The oxygen, very easy to work out how much oxygen is produced. It's going to be the difference between those two numbers. So we get 0.64 grams of oxygen as well. The next thing, because chemists work in moles, we're going to calculate the moles of those chemicals. It's all about the moles. So that's mass over MR, so 4.04 divided by 101, 3.40 divided by 85, and 0.64 divided by 32. So you can see now that this many moles of potassium nitrate is reacting and producing that many moles of nitrite and that many moles of oxygen. So the next thing we need to do is we need to establish the simplest whole number ratio. So that's done by dividing all of these by the smallest number. So obviously that's the smallest of the numbers. You can probably see the ratio anyway, but we'll do it um, just to show you what, what to do just when the numbers get more difficult. So we get a, a two there, a two there, and a one there. So that enables us now, we've got the mole ratio between the chemicals, we can write down the balanced equation. And there it is there. So here's one you can try now, just use that method and pause the video, have a go yourself, and then play on when you're ready to hear me go through the answer. So just as before, we're going to write down the unbalanced equation. And again, I've color coded the chemicals involved. So the first thing now is masses. We're given all the masses, but the catch in this one was the fact that a couple of those masses were given in kilograms. So we've got to convert that to grams first. So there they are there. We're now going to work out the moles. So we're dividing by the MR. So we get 75 moles of nitrogen. 225 moles of hydrogen and 150 moles of ammonia is produced. So the next thing to get the ratio is we divide everything by 75. So that's obviously going to be 1 for the nitrogen, so you're dividing by itself. We get a 3 for hydrogen and we get 2 for ammonia. And so the equation is that. Last one now, so again, if you want to read that information and then you pause the video, have a go and then play on when you're ready. So there's the unbalanced equation. Let's put the masses in. And if you notice, we weren't told how much oxygen, we were just told that the ethane is reacted with oxygen. So to get the mass of oxygen, we add up the, the masses of the products and then subtract that to work out how much oxygen must have been reacted. So there it is there, 30.24.
And so the next thing is the moles. So dividing by the MR, we get 0.27 for ethane, 0.945 for oxygen, 0.54 for carbon dioxide, and 0.81 for water. So to get the ratio, divide everything by the smallest, and you can see the blue, the ethane is the smallest. So that by itself is 1, 3.5, 2 and 3. So what are we going to do now? We've got this fraction here. We've got 3.5. We can't round it up to 4. That might be what some people think to do. You can't do that. You've got to do the same to everything. And so therefore we multiply it out. So the obvious thing to do is multiply everything by 2. So that's going to give us a 2 to 7 to 4 to 6 ratio. And so the balanced chemical equation is written like that. So just summarizing the three steps to success to always get these right. The first one, just put the masses of the chemicals in. So I would advise you write the unbalanced equation out like I did and just sort of make columns for all the chemicals. So masses first. Turn those masses into moles, so that's mass divided by MR, and then turn those moles into a mole ratio by dividing everything by the smallest. And just beware of those fractions.